In this last video, we're going to talk a little bit about solving systems of equations by hand, uh, since you will have to complete um, at least one or two of these, maybe a little bit more than that, on the test this week by hand without a calculator. In the conversations we've had in class and my quick review of math Excel scores, I don't anticipate too many uh, difficulties with two by two systems, but I'll just remind you that with two by twos, we identified either the substitution method or the elimination method as the most common options uh, for our uh, two by two matrices. And in this case, uh, with substitution, we're looking for a variable that's by itself that we can isolate further uh, to use as a substitution elsewhere. And in the elimination method, we're hoping to simply combine two rows together to eliminate a variable. We don't have that in, uh, we don't have either of those options available to us in this particular problem. So the recommendation here is to multiply by a constant in the first row and then also in the second row with the hopes of getting one of our variables to disappear uh, with elimination. So in my opinion here, I think it would be okay. Um, well, I guess there isn't no clear, there is no clear choice here. So I'm just going to multiply this top row by three and I'm going to multiply this bottom row by negative 10. And by distributing the three and distributing the 10, hope to come up with a pair of equations that I'll report over here that could be combined with elimination. And it certainly looks like we do have a pair that will eliminate. Um, if I add these two rows together, then the x's will disappear. So the trouble with multiplying by 3 and 10 here is that the uh, combination that we receive um, after adding these two rows together, the values get quite large. And if this is a no calculator portion of the test, you may have to use long division or something like that uh, to divide 276 by 46. And in this case, this does end up equaling negative 6, which is good for us. Uh, we see that the solution on this practice worksheet does indicate that the y value has to be negative 6. We can now use that negative 6 to find out that x is equal to 7. But again, the main purpose of this video is to show how to use a combination of both substitution and elimination in order to solve a system of three equations or larger. So in this three by three here, um, I, I'd say the goal would be to pick two equations in which you can eliminate one variable. And that ending result, that combination of those two, we, we would then call... Uh, like an A equation. And then if we pick a different pair of equations to eliminate the same variable, um, the end result, end result there we might call our B equation. Actually, I'll write it like this. And you'll find that with the A and the B equation, the results after combining and eliminating one set initially, uh, well, those two would have the same variables, and then you can continue to eliminate a variable from there. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to take these two equations and just add them together. By adding them together, you'll, you'll notice that the y variable disappears. So in this case, my a equation end result would be, and I'm adding these two, so negative 5 plus 1, looks like negative 4x to me. Negative z plus 6z, looks like 5z to me. And negative 16 plus 11 is equal to negative 5. Now I'll do the same with the first two equations and it is important to choose two different equations. Uh, now it could be the outer two equations or, or the top and the bottom row uh, if you'd like to use that but I, I noticed that the top two can combine here fairly easily. I just have to double this top row so I'm going to call this one 8x minus 4y plus 8z equals 52 and then we'll retain negative 5x plus 4y minus z equals negative 16. And now I'll just combine these two with addition. And the result after summing those two together, um, I just went ahead and report it down here uh, in equation B. And now it looks like we can combine like terms. Well, no, I guess we can't because we don't have equivalent coefficient. So we're going to have to multiply again 
I'm going to multiply this top row by 3 and the bottom row by 4. And here again, the values are getting kind of large, right on the edge of what I would recommend that you have to do by hand. But this process is important, important enough to see, so I want to continue with that. Uh, now 144 take away 15 is 129, and 15 plus 28 uh, looks like 43 to me. So we have 43z equals 129. If I divide both sides by 43, we get real lucky here. 4 goes into 3, I'm sorry, 4 goes into 12 uh, 3 times, as does 3 going into 9. So that tells me that z is equal to 3. And that's a good uh, start here because it does appear that our solution is uh, indicating that z is equal to 3. Uh, from this point, we can back substitute, and I would take um, a z value of 3 into one of these expressions to solve for x. And then once I have x and z, I can back substitute into one of the originals and solve for y. I'll let you do that on your own, and you should see that your solution here comes out to be 5, 3, and 3. Now the remaining questions in this worksheet, um, especially 1 and 4, I definitely recommend that you try those on your own. Uh, that way you can ask questions tomorrow when I see you in class. Uh, the word problems aren't meant to be too challenging. Um, the hard part about each of those is setting them up. So make sure that you practice with them and get the same solution that our answer key is indicating. If you have questions, hold on to them and we'll try to address them tomorrow in class. And then lastly, the second worksheet that I post in Schoology. Uh, you can definitely see why calculator permitted is going to be the way to go for these. Um, we get decimal values that would be a little bit more challenging to solve by hand in the time that we're dealing with. And similarly, um, some of the word problems involve decimals that can be a bit more challenging as well. So as long as you can set up your system and show me how you would use the calculator to solve it, I would give you full credit for those questions on the test. So that concludes the uh, commentary for the day today. Uh, use the rest of the time to finish the problems that I indicate with my instructions in Schoology. And um, make sure to take a picture and send those to me um, for a homework grade today. Thanks for watching.